Yo, yo, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Coming to you live tonight. And there we go. We're live. We're live. We're live. Hey, Jose. <laughs> what's going on? Multi-time viewer. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So a lot of people on here are saying that they're not getting notifications. And that is really odd because when you're on the channel, when you're subscribed, it should say, it should like pop up like a notification thing. And it should say, Tony is live on YouTube. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why. Thank you everybody for getting on tonight. Australia four times. It's funny that you got like a lot of you guys already know what to say. All right, so I got um, some exciting, exciting news to share with you tonight. Um, and I'm going to go out of my garage and I'm going to show it to you. So everybody on here right now, just quickly, I know some of you guys already wrote it down. Uh, just quickly type in if this is your first time, second time, third time, fourth time, tenth time on with us and where you're coming in from. And I will... Basically, shout out some names, some areas. Denton, Texas right here. It's like right down, right north of me. Australia four times. Eric from Jordanton, Texas. Bob in PA. Come on. Don from San Francisco, Australia. We got people from all over the world here tonight. Second time from Colorado. Don Fukushima, first time, San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, Tupac, Bay Area. Fifth time from San Bernardo, San... Man, my eyes are... Bern... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Bernard... Bernardino, California. Trinidad and Tobago, three times. Multi-time, Southern Utah, buddy in Southern Illinois. Cool. So we got a lot of people coming on tonight. Uh, awesome, awesome. Pete from Dallas, Iowa. And hopefully as we go on here, more people will be getting on in just a little bit. It usually takes 10 minutes for people to really get on because people are like, oh shit, it's 8 o'clock. Or, you know, so remember every Thursday night, 8 o'clock Central, 9 Eastern, we're going to be going live if I'm here in Texas or if I'm in New York, or if I'm in Hawaii, or if I'm in Japan. Next week, I'm going to be streaming from Japan because I got to go and pick up my family. I'm going to be in Japan for three weeks. So we're going to have a couple of live streams from Japan. Um, I'll show you around. We'll go over some Q&A, auto body Q&A, get to know everybody on here. And uh, Bernardino, Tony, thank you. <laughs> Dude, I don't know too much about California. I don't know a lot of people from California either. I know like LA, San Diego, you know, some of the La Jolla, you know, I know some of the hot spots, but Bernardino is, is a new place for me. Hi, Tony. Don, VIP in Prescott, Arizona. I recognize your name, Don. Awesome. Mr. Don Stewart. Okay, so I finally painted the BMW. We're going to be doing something cool tonight. Um, how many of you guys want to do like a live thing where I actually... Uh, take off the paper from the car and this is like my favorite part about auto body is the finished product when you're actually taking the paper off the car and it's completely painted and it's nice looking and it's like the job is almost done that's my favorite part of a paint job when you're taking the paper off and then you're putting the car back together you know because you're seeing all your hard work all of your efforts come to a completion you're getting it done it's looking great how many of you guys want to see that tonight Type in yes. Yeah, I want to see that. So um, the, the number one thing with a paint job is, yes, I like to unwrap the present. I, I call it like a Christmas present for me. Um, now, when you're painting cars, okay, and if, if you're doing some masking and taping up and stuff, you want to take off the tape, the masking paper, about two hours after you paint. All right, and the reason why is if you're close on some edges, I'm going to show you some stuff tonight, your clear is not going to peel with it. It's it's going to it's going to 
the clear is still soft, right? It's not dry, dry. It's soft. So when you peel off the tape, it's you're not going to screw your paint job up, all right? That's another thing that I talk about in VIP is when you're taking off your paper, you want to do it two to three hours after your paint job, okay? You know, ideally within an hour to two hours after you paint your car, you know, where it's it's dry to the touch, it's not tacky. You don't want to push into it, right? So I actually just finished painting at five o'clock today, three hours ago, all right? And um, we're gonna go in the shop right now and I'm gonna unmask the car. You guys can watch live and uh, we're gonna show you the paint job and all that. So you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Give me some hands up. Give me some, yeah, I'm ready. We're gonna go do that right now. I'm actually gonna record it so we got better footage. We got better video uh, of this thing. So I'm gonna record it with my head cam here. And we're gonna go out into the shop and do this. All right? So I got my head cam on. I do this when I'm painting as well. All right? And we're gonna show you how this sucker looks. Okay, you ready? You ready? I'll show you how this puppy came out. And you know what, the more I paint, the more clear coat I do with uh, the House of Color, the more I'm liking it. Because this thing laid on wet. Can you guys say wet? Can you guys type in wet and then I'll show you this wet ass paint job because it came out freaking nice. All right, you ready? You ready? There we go. I hope I hope the streaming is 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 good enough. Look at that. Let me know if you guys see it cuz there's a little delay. There's a little delay on There's a little delay on the broadcast here. And you know what? I can't really it's it's I'm only streaming at 420p. But it came out really nice. Like if we go up here, okay, not much orange peel at all. Came out, it flowed on really nice. I put two heavy coats on it and uh, it looks stunning. So let's show you the bumper cover here, right? We did the bumper cover as well. And show you how nice this thing came out. Okay, you guys see that or what? You know, when I'm doing the high def videos, you're gonna be able to see it a lot clearer. But because of the stream, it's not coming in as HD as it should be. All right, so we did, we fixed all the rock chips. We fixed all in here. I don't know if you guys remember, but all in here was all scuffed up and, and crappy looking, right? Both sides. I have pictures before and after. All right, you can see that it's all. It's all painted nicely. I did all underneath. We clear coated everything. I did get a little bug right here. I don't know if you see that little guy. But that, I can easily take that off and, and buff that right there. No big deal. Okay, so that's the bumper cover. Came out unbelievable. The car came out really good. Okay, here's the trunk. I ended up actually clearing the trunk because I did find some imperfections in the trunk as well. So I said, screw it, let me base. I fixed the damage here, there was a dent here, um, and it was like messed up around here, so I ended up painting the whole trunk. Okay, so there's the trunk, quarter panel, so that's how it looks. Uh, we have a little, where's the bug? There's another bug right over here, little guy, right there. So that I can just cut out with a razor blade. We'll, we'll water sand it and hit it with the buffer. It'll come right out. But I hardly got any dust on it and it looks good. What do you guys think? Looks good? It came out really good. Came out really, really good. I'm happy the way it came out. Now, if you really want to finish it and make it look good, basically wet sand it with 2000 and buff it out and it's going to look even better. So let's go ahead quickly and let's take off some of the paper quick yeah I did the whole trunk lid so let's go like this quickly I don't want to spend too much time can you guys see okay make 
sure what you got. And you know what? The bumper is was always darker. I'll show you the other side. show you how I masked it up here. This is what we did inside of the trunk so we don't get the overspray, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. But I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to take off some of the main masking tape here. And remember, the rest of the car still needs to be buffed out and the shine has to come back. All right, the rest of the car is not buffed. It's still kind of grummy looking, but that's what we got to do is basically finish it off. Close the trunk in just a bit. Show you how that looks. Okay. See, it's a pretty good color match here. The bumper was always darker. And I don't know if you guys know, but factory cars, the bumpers are usually painted at a different time in a different paint department in automobile factories. So a lot of times, even if you look on new cars, you'll notice that the bumpers are a slight shade difference than the body. And this is a fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off the paper over here. the other side here. You guys liking this so far? I'll show you the color match here with the door. It actually looks really good. When it's buffed out it's gonna look even better. Let me get closer for you. Okay, so I masked up inside as well. Pretty good color match. Take this off. Color match really well. It's it's shut. Let me let's get the front quick. Let's get the front quick and close the door. Close the hood, I mean.
Okay. Pretty much that's it. All right. So that's how it looks. If we take a look at the paint here, really close. Once this is buffed out, it's going to look really nice. You see that? Pretty, pretty, really, really close. Once the front is on, it's going to look fabulous. Buff out the bumper, get the shine out of the bumper, buff out that rear quarter panel and the door, basically the whole car. Get it looking really, really nice. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. So I got all of this on HD video. It's going to be in the VIP members area. Within the next couple of weeks, I got to hand it over to my video guy. Still not done. I got to put it back together. Um, and then the final process, next month I'm going to buff it out because I have to leave to Japan uh, for a little bit. And um, that's that, you know, when I get back. So I'm going to put it together. Hold on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it together probably tomorrow or the weekend quick. It's only going to take me a couple hours. And... Uh, do the buffing at another time. So that's it. Whew. I'm hot. It's a lot of work when you're trying to show an audience and do all of that yourself. Anyway, what'd you guys think? I wasn't really watching the uh, the uh, the chat here while I was doing that. I got my hands all over spray on it now. Uh, came out nice, right? So that car is, that car is mine. Um, you know, I was thinking of selling it, you know, but now that I look at it, I'm like, wow, maybe I should just keep it. <laughs> but when it's put together, it's going to look like a totally different animal, right? Um, I have all the before and after, you know, pictures. I have the step-by-step -step process of what I did. I kind of cheated painting in some areas, um, and I, I have all of that on video, so I'll share it with you VIP guys on what I did to cheat uh, to save me some time and how it still came out professional like that. All right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, I use the House of Color clear coat, and that is some really, really good clear coat. It's really white. Um, it's clear. There's hardly any dieback. Dieback means basically it dries up after a week or two after the paint job it dries yep my baby's doing fine she's okay um i'm gonna go back and um you know we're gonna we're gonna bring her back uh, to texas for a while and then you know it's it's a it's a process right so yes if i want to i was thinking of selling it because i wanted to actually put that in start racing it bmw you know car club of america but uh you know, when I, when I kind of looked into it, you got to do a lot of, uh, you have to do a lot of modifications to a convertible to race it. Be better off for me to get a coupe. So I'm probably going to, I might sell that. I don't know yet. I might keep it. I don't know. But um, I want to get an E46 coupe. Did you use PPG paint for the color? No, I used Omni Plus. 100 bucks for the, uh, for the base coat. So let's go over back to the shop. I'll show you some of that stuff and we'll call it a night. I kind of got a headache uh, today, just a little bit. I've just had a long day. Okay, so let me show you. I think it's from breathing the fumes in here. Give me a little headache. Um, here it is. So I used Omni Plus. It's the better version of the basic Omni. Okay, it was like $103 for the quart. I still have maybe five ounces left in here. Okay, good for touch up. Um, I used Omni Reducer, medium. Okay, and I used my House of Color US CO1 Clear. Really good clear, I like it a lot. 
And I also used a special spray gun that Warwick sent me. It's one of their 20th anniversary uh, editions. It sprayed really well. It sprayed really, really nice. So that's the deal. That's the deal. It came out really good. I'm very happy. Um, it's going to be in the course very, very soon. I'll show you exactly step by step what I did. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the process of kind of following me live on this project over the past couple of weeks. You know, I wanted to paint it on Monday, but things got thrown back a little bit. But I finally got it done today. It took me about five hours today to basically finish it up, mask it, because I had it washed yesterday. It had some glaze putty spots on it this morning. So I sanded the glaze putty, um, wiped it all down, got it ready for paint and painted it. It took me about how many hours today? Five hours. I put in five hours complete. It literally only took me, uh, it only takes about seven minutes to go around the car. A lot of VIP people in here. Awesome. It only took about seven minutes. So you figure seven minutes to do the base coat, one coat. I did it three times because I had to dust some of the bodywork areas first, right? And then the clear coat only took me like seven, eight minutes for one pass to do the hood, the trunk, the back, the front cover. And then I waited about 15 minutes and then I had to mix a little bit more clear and then another eight minutes of painting time. It's, it's really quick. Once you got it ready to blast, it only takes seven minutes to go over and clear coat every, all the pieces one time, one shot. And I put two heavy coats of clear on it. So total hours, about 16 hours on the job uh, with five hours today. Uh, we did like three coats of base, especially on the body coat areas, and two coats of clear, heavy coats of clear, heavy, heavy. I laid it on really thick. And I'm surprised I didn't get any runs. I thought I was going to run in here because I was really laying it on, but I got no runs. It came out really nice. I and mean, I'm usually pretty famous for that, for not having any runs. Um, what causes paint bridging across tape, paint peels when unmasking? Uh, that happens because, and you could see that I, I took, I didn't take this light out. I masked it, and after I painted it, about an hour after, I came in and I took this off. Because what happens is if your paint is too dry and you go to take off your uh, paint, your tape, in areas like that, you'll peel the paint. You got to make sure you do it when it's kind of not 100% set up yet. That's the secret. All right. And also another secret is you see what I did with the windshield wipers. You got to make sure to tape inside so you don't get the overspray going in and, and dust coming out onto, onto the hood. That's another thing. You want to make sure you mask uh, the nozzles from the other side. All right, so thanks guys for getting on. I'm gonna call it a quick night tonight. I, I have a headache. I wanna take a quick shower, cool off a little bit, and uh, I will see you on next week from Japan. All right, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all you VIP guys in here. Um, and I will be on next week. We'll be doing more. We're gonna be doing more Q&A next week because I'm gonna be in Japan uh, literally the night before I get on with you. Okay, I use this sucker for ventilation. I just had that blowing out and blew right out. Today was raining. So rain, painting on rainy days is actually pretty good because it keeps the dust down. So I had hardly have any dust on this thing. A couple of spots, but not bad at all. And it came out great. All right, so I will see you guys on next week. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Please like the video, share it, and... Uh, Yes, Dennis Reed. Watch the replay. We did some pretty cool unwrapping of the car tonight. All right, I'm going to be heading out. Have a good night, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs>